Welcome to Dataverse Solution. Hope you are doing well. In this video, we will learn about loading data from Azure Blob Storage, creating a storage account in Azure Portal, creating container in Azure Storage Account, uploading file into Azure Storage Blob Container, creating a Snowflake integration object to load file from container to a stage, adding access control to give access to a Snowflake stage, creating external Azure stage object in a snowflake. At the last, we see loading data into table from Azure Blob Storage into a snowflake account. So all these cover in this video. One request viewer, if you find this video helpful, please subscribe the channel and give thumbs up. Now let's get a start and create Azure Storage account. In order to load data from Azure Storage account into a snowflake database, first of all, we have to create a storage account. So I am in home page of Azure portal. You can see here and click here to create a storage account or you can search here a storage account. So let's search here a storage account. Click here to create a storage account. You can see here the all list of storage account available if you create previously. So I have not any storage account. So I am creating fresh storage account. Click here to create a storage account. Here I am using subscription free trial and resource group. I am creating new resource group. My resource group. I am giving it name RG. Resource group created. And a storage account should be unique and it's allow only lowercase and number. So let's try a storage account a storage SA and give it a name a snow flag. It's already taken. So put here some number. Now it is unique. I am choosing region central India because my snow flag also in central India. Performance is standard. Redundancy is I am using here locally redundant storage because we do not need any data protection as per your requirement you can choose because of cheap i am selecting this clicking next leave it as usual next network also by default data protection by default encryption by default next now reviewing validating this in progress let's wait for validation click here to create a storage account initializing deployment deployment in progress so it's take around one minute one to two minutes so let's wait storage account created deployment is succeed okay so click here to refresh go to resource group and you can see here the storage account is created okay as of now we create a storage account the second step is to create container to load file in container so first go to home go to a storage account here this storage account we created just now so click here and click here to create container this is our second step now click here this plus icon container to create container give it name snow flag i am giving name snow flag csv okay and click here to create it's immediately created a store container click here and as of now there is no file so we uploading some file here browse i am uploading this order azure dataset dot csv file so click here to upload here you can see here in this container one file uploaded as of now we create 
storage account and container in Azure portal and we upload one file into container. Now I want to make connection with this container to a Snowflake account so that a Snowflake access this file. So we can do by using creating integration object in a Snowflake. So let's move to a Snowflake account. This is my Snowflake wave UI. Now let's create integration objects. So here I am using my DV. This is statement successful. Now let's create integration object. Here's statement is simple. You can write here create or replace. These are the optional keyword and write here storage integration after that integration name. In my case, I am right here Azure integration. Type is of course this is external stage and storage provider that is Azure and right here enable equal to true then right here we need Azure tenant ID and storage allowed location. So let's find first of all tenant ID. So let's move to Azure portal again. This is my Azure portal. Let's navigate to home page and in search box find here Microsoft Entra ID and you can see here tenant ID. So let's copy this and again move to Snowflake and paste here. And now find here a storage allowed location. So again let's move to Azure portal. Navigate to home page. Go to a storage account. Go to container. Click here. Again click here and copy this URL and navigate to Snowflake and paste here. Remove this HTTPS and also remove this file. We want to access all container. So also remove this and now let's create control enter to execute remove this and execute integration object created successfully now let's describe this you can see here the properties of this integration and you can see also azure consent url so let's copy this url click here to copy and move to browser and paste here enter after entering this url into browser we give consent to access this snowflake to azure portal in my case not showing any consent pop-up window because of we already give consent option previously if in your case showing any consent window then click consent checkbox and give enter so let's again move to azure portal go to home page again go to storage account and now go to access control this is our fourth step actually this is our fifth step fourth step is giving consent so after here access control navigating to here click here and then click here this plus icon add and click here add role assignment now search here storage blob write in a small letter storage blob you can see here the storage blob data contributor so select this okay to read write delete access and for so if you want to read only then you can select this and in our case we want to select this storage blob data contributor 
तो सेलेक्ट एंड क्लिक हेयर नेक्स्ट क्लिक हेयर सेलेक्ट मेंबर अगेन गो टू स्नो फ्लैग अकाउंट एंड सेलेक्ट दिस दिस इज द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ एजोर इंटीग्रेशन एज वी डिस्क्राइब प्रीवियसली एंड कॉपी दिस वन गो टू एजोर पोर्टल अगेन एंड सर्च इन दिस इन वॉक्स यू कैन सी हेयर दिस सेलेक्ट दिस वन सेलेक्ट अगेन and review and assign so i am assigning access control here adding role assignment so access control created now let's move to snow flag again now let's create file format so here i am creating create or replace this is the optional keyword file format and this is my file format name and type is csv field delimiter comma skip header 1 so control enter to execute file format created successfully now again copy this and paste here create in this case stage this is belongs to azure integration you can write here create or replace stage this is my stage name and storage integration is azure integration which i create here azure integration now give here path url this is the container path as we use in here and file format is file format underscore azure which i create here so let's enter this stage is created now let's see file available in this internet stage so control enter you can see here the file available in this internet stage again let's move to azure portal go to container and up go to this container and upload one file more browse and upload order azure dataset 1 again two file upload here upload click here to and two file more uploaded in this container so again move to snow flag and again execute this list command now you can see here three file okay you can see here all these three file available in that container now i want to read this file using this command so let's select 127 this is the number of column available in this file and this is my metadata it's give the file name and we want to access using this stage so control enter you can see here here is header not showing because in file format we skip first header so it's not showing header and we able to access data from the azure container now i want to load this data into table so let's execute and create this table with this structure so let's create table table is created now use copy into command to load from this stage into this table this is our target table and this is our source stage so control enter to execute and you can see here there is 20 row passed and 20 row loaded successfully no errors in 25 row passed and 25 row loaded all these file loaded successfully okay now let's execute you can see here the data loaded successfully into table from azure container so that's all about in this video i will put all script used in in this video to description box you can find from there and copy and practice 
and one request to you if you find this video helpful please subscribe this channel and give thumbs up it is really helpful to motivate me thank you for watching have a nice day